Welcome to the Mindset Elevator, everybody. You are smarter than a lot of people thought. A lot of people you know, are surprised about your level of intellect, about your level of knowing. A lot of people are a little bit stunned that you know, you know what you know in the proportions that you know, right? How do you know what you know? A lot of people are very, very perplexed by how you're able to figure things out so easily, how you're able to work through problems so easily. They want to know how you're able to do this. People didn't think they looked at you, they scanned you, they sized you up. They thought that, nah, this person is gullible or naive. They don't really know much. They don't really know anything even. They don't look like they know much. So I'm going to be able to have the upper hand over this person or, you know, take advantage of this individual until when they make that choice, they're going to see that it was, they shouldn't have done that because you know what's going on. Your level of intellect could startle people and put people off when you come around. So they know if they try to test you, you know, they're not going to pass this test. They're not going to be able to trick you because you know what's going on. You're a very smart person and they didn't think that you were that smart. They didn't think that you knew all of the things that you knew. They didn't think that you studied or that you, you had a tendency to be studious. They didn't think that you were always reinventing yourself. You stay, you put your head in your books, maybe. Maybe you could be like that. Maybe you do a lot of research. Maybe you do a lot of deep digging, right? And for I could speak for myself, like I've always loved to learn. You know, and I would get teased for that. Like, oh, why is your head always in a book? Because I grew up with books. You know, I, w I didn't have toys growing up type of thing. You know, it was books growing up. You read your books. I used to sit at the breakfast table reading dictionaries. You know what I mean? And I, as I got older, I'm like, who reads a dictionary? Really? Who just does that? I did that, you know, and it helped me. It was good for me. In the end, it really, really elevated my mind because I wanted to learn new words, grow my vocabulary, things like that. But it's like sometimes people don't see what you've done. They don't see that you are a very studious, diligent person who likes to learn and likes to grow. And not only are you book smart, maybe, but you're street smart. You're spiritually sound. You know exactly what's going on around you. And some people may have tried to come up against you and didn't understand that who they were coming up against was a person who was well-versed in a multitude of, you know, facets or, you know, avenues. You you probably have a vast mind. You know, your mind is probably expansive. And there's not a lot of things that people can do to break that. There could be some tangible things that people think, oh, they could pick at, they can mock, they could tease, they could bully, they could get at. But when it comes to your mindset, there's not a lot of things that people can do to you. And I think that's what spook, there is that spooky, unsettling element to the fact that your haters or the naysayers cannot get up here. That's what they really want. When they see that taking tangible things from you or trying to get at you superficially does not work. They're going to want to dig deeper as to what is it about you then? What is it about you? Why, why is it that the typical worldly things that they try to do to you or take from you doesn't work on you? And so people will do their own type of deep digging and they're going to come and find out that you're smarter than they thought. There's certain things. You're 10 steps ahead a lot of, of a lot of these people. You're 10 steps ahead. And people don't understand how you could be because maybe you don't look the part. Maybe you seem naive or seem gullible. These are the theories that they're putting together in their minds as to who you are as a person. Therefore, how they could treat you as a person. It's definitely a short-sighted venture, you know, if, if I could find a way to say it. Because there's a lot of people, right? They... They may know you're smart. They may know that you know things, but they don't know how smart in the grand proportions that your intelligence dwells in. They don't understand that. That's the thing, the enormity of it, that goes over their head. But not a lot of things go over your head. Like you see everything that's going on. You understand. It's almost like you are, you know, you know you're, just, you're just different. You're just different. It's not a lot of people like you walking among yourself, you know, like you probably stand out because you're very smart. You stand out because 
of the different levels of intelligence that you have. Like I said, you could be book smart, but you could be street smart, spiritually sound, spiritually smart. Like you know what's going on. You know about the worldly things that are happening. You can be very, you know, particular. You are very perceptive. You know what I mean? There could be like a perceptive intelligence about you where you just see things, you feel things, and it gives you a deeper knowing. It gives you a, a deeper sense of being grounded and being stable in this world that we live in and amongst the groups that you're a part of. You're smarter than a lot of people think. Like, it's wild. Like, a lot of people probably are, uh, you know, if they haven't seen it yet, they've, they're they going to see it. How smart you really are. And let it be known in the comments if you feel like you've stunned people with your level of intelligence. Like perhaps they thought that you didn't know anything and then you were able to like school them or educate them and let it be known. Listen, I know about that, you know, or I know more than what you think and you showed them and then they were taken aback. Let it be known. Let it be known what their reactions were. You know, were they quiet? Were they... Because I know a lot of people acted like that with me, like when I was able to tell them what I knew, when they tried to act like I didn't know anything, a lot of them just get quiet, you know, or very defensive, like, oh, well, you know, and they start, <laughs> they start tweaking a little bit. Let it be known in the comments, everybody. So yes, as I close out this video, you are smarter, much smarter than a lot of people originally thought, you know, and it's because people just see you and think they know you. Right. But of course, we know there's more to you than meets the eyes. What does that saying mean? It means that there's something deeper. There's something deeper about you that the eyes cannot see right away. You got to go deeper. You got to want to go deeper to find out about that person instead of making, you know, passing judgment too soon. All right, everybody. So thank you guys so very much. Keep growing yourselves. Never stop learning sky's the limit when it comes to learning you know you can go as far as you want to go you can go as high as you want to go and it's a beautiful beautiful thing right and you're going to trigger people because people once again did not think that you were that smart you're going to have people trying really hard to like one up you and uh, uh quickly have a rebuttal try to learn try to like out learn you outsmart you <laughs> you're going to see those things happen but that's for another video Guys, everybody, stay up and do your thing. Never stop learning. Never stop doing what you guys do. You guys are elevating the world in your own little way. All right, you guys are adding more peace and tranquility and education and, you know, just all the beautiful elements that we need more in the world. You're doing that in your own way. Pat yourself on the back and never stop. All right, everybody, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.